Imagine what happens when you fall into Neptune. You initially encounter white cirrus clouds, comprised of methane and hydrogen, five minutes after descending onto Neptune. This section is nearly 10 kilometers thick, and the temperature here is extraordinarily cold, reaching minus 200 degrees Celsius. After 10 minutes on Neptune, you've descended to a depth of 50 kilometers and encountered a cloud of hydrogen sulfide with a terrible odor everywhere. The surrounding pressure is over five times that of the Earth's ordinary atmospheric pressure. It also boasts the highest wind speed in the solar system, reaching 2,000 kilometers per hour. Due to the distance from the sun and the high barrier of clouds, very little light can enter the inner area of Neptune 30 minutes after falling into it. This causes the surrounding surroundings to darken progressively, causing the wind to whiz by. At this point, you can't help but feel fear like you've never felt before. One hour after falling into Neptune, your eyes were still pitch black, accompanied by a flash of lightning that illuminated the whole sky. That's correct. You've arrived to the water and ice clouds, which are rife with thunderstorms. It is no longer frigid here, and the temperature has gradually climbed. I eventually reached the bottom of the water ice cloud two hours after plunging into Neptune. A protective suit can withstand more than 10,000 atmospheres, and the temperature exceeds 1,000 degrees Celsius. Three hours after arriving on Neptune, you begin to approach the planet's core, the solid heat layer. The pressure here has surpassed numerical description, and the temperature has risen to 4,000 degrees Celsius. The methane and ammonia ice in this location began to act as hot and viscous fluids under immense pressure, and carbon atoms began to condense and generate diamonds, as well as unprecedented rain of diamonds. You successfully reached the core of Neptune five hours after plunging into it. This is a solid terrain consisting of rocks and ice crystals with a surface quality similar to the Earth's. The beautiful light generated by diamonds shone everywhere here, but the spacesuit could not endure the immense pressure around it at the moment and began to break gradually. Finally, you will sleep here, having completed your exploration of Neptune. In reality, being the solar system's outermost planet, humans know virtually little about Neptune. This leads to the conclusion that this planet has been duped from the start. Put on a mystery cloak. The Voyager 2 spacecraft, which was tasked with investigating alien life, successfully reached the stars on August 25, 1989. Orbit captured the first full-body image of Neptune. So far, this is the only human probe that has viewed Neptune up close. According to the data provided, the atmosphere is saturated with a high amount of methane, which causes it to seem blue, and continue to be exposed to high temperatures and high pressures. As a result, the majority of Neptune's carbon atoms have been smashed into innumerable diamonds. However, due to the worst storm in the solar system on this planet, human probes have yet to land safely in its core area. If, one day, humans are genuinely capable of landing on its surface, the gems we once took pride in may no longer be so precious.